Then he says, verse 30, he that is not what? Look at me. Where is he at? Against me. I need y'all to repeat that part again. He that is not with me is what? Against me. He that is not with me is what? Against me. That's a hard concept for us to get as people. Because we are quick to try to make somebody fit that don't fit. Quick to try to make them fit. He says, listen, either you with me or against me, point blank. He says, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth so you can't say that you are a part of trim but then be in the streets talking about trim you can't say that you are a part of trim but then be with the people that talk against trim Or are we missing something in the text? Are we missing something in the text? It says, He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth. So either you're going to bring souls in are you going to keep them out of the house? What you going to do? Either you going to bring them in, or you going to keep them out. Now, what sense does it make for people to see you coming in a house on a consistent basis that you trying to keep them out of? Things that make you go. Well, then... Could it possibly be, just possibly now, hypothetically thinking, could it be that you're just hanging around for sabotage purposes? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Synonyms of sabotage. Y'all know I love synonyms. A synonym of sabotage means to vandalize. Y'all don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. Tan up somebody's stuff. Tan up somebody's stuff. Another synonym for sabotage is wreck. To wreck something. Another synonym for sabotage is to cripple. So you don't want it to not walk. You just want to mess it up some. I don't want to put them out of business. I just want to get some of the customers. See? Sabotage. Another one is to disrupt. That means something is flowing and you cause a disruption to it. Okay, so check this out. If you are in flow. You are in flow. Let me see. Give me three of y'all again. I'll show you an example. I'll show you an example. A sabotage. This is a hidden one right here. This one's sneaky. This one's real sneaky. All right. So y'all all turn and face this way in a line. Like y'all like a train. Like you, you're going in a line. Okay. So... The whole purpose of this is, if y'all got a destination, the wall over here is going to be the destination. Now, all three of y'all are aware of that destination, where you got to go. No matter where you are now, I need y'all to catch this. No matter whether you are the leader, the center, or the tailback, y'all all got an assignment and you know where you got to go. You know you're going to that wall. Okay, so now they're going to start going towards this wall. But one of them just going to make a decision. Pinker going to make a decision. 
Now, Angie made a decision to turn off. See? Look, that's a disruption. That's a disruption. Come back. Stand right here. Vicky, get back behind Finkel. Because you got to, no, stay, stay off where you at. Turn back to that way, Finkel. Let me show you all the floor on how it go. When, come back right here, Angie. Stay right there, Finkel. Come right here. Okay. You cut, cut off like you did. Just cut off. Now look, stay right there. This stop, they flow. They all knew where they had to go, but they were all hinged off of each other. This stopped, that stopped their flow. So now, in your conscious mind, what did you think when she cut off? Cut off. You thought cut off? What else? Do I keep going this way? Do I keep going or what do I do? You see the confusion you put people in? You see that? You see the confusion? That's the only reason. That, that, that's a lot of reason why I try to live right, y'all, because I don't want to mess up nobody. Yeah. You know, I ain't lying. I don't. I don't want to mess up. I'm too far out here now. Folk, it'll just mess up a bunch of folk. I turn off. But you see what it does? Yeah. It literally causes people to start. Because, see, now immediately, did part of your mind think, dang, I should go with her? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that what we were supposed to do? Yeah, you see what it does, but that was sabotage because the destination was waiting. Where they were going to, it's still there. It ain't left. The purpose of the thing is still there. But somebody done decided they're going to cut off. And so by them not being in position, it cuts the flow of things and starts making everybody try to figure out now what's going on. What's wrong? What happened to them? Did they get mad about something? Where's she at? Did she fall out with somebody? What did she do? Did she start drinking? Did she got a man? See, all that stuff like that start going through folk mind when they don't see you. When you don't got out of position, thank you, y'all. When you don't got out of position, you see what I'm saying? But you can easily be a part of sabotage. When you just make a decision to do your own thing. Especially when you don't become a part of something. Don't do that. Come on, y'all. Don't do that. Don't get in covenant with something and then just decide you're going to do your own thing. It don't work like that. Every covenant has parameters. Every covenant does. You can't be married and not have parameters. Ain't no wife going to be out no all times of the night. Ain't no husband supposed to be out no all times of the night. It's parameters. She ain't got no business being dressed all kinds of way back out, all that kind of stuff. There is parameters. When you take on covenant. And if you make a decision that I'm just going to do what I want to do, you now become sabotage. Because you just stop the flow of something. You just change the whole order of how something was set to go. The purpose of it. You just changed it. And we ignorantly have been doing that. Because we have no regards or did not or were not conscious of the fact that we were in covenant with things. We literally think that covenant just consists of certain things such as a marriage. Well, a marriage is a covenant, but there are more covenants. A friendship is a covenant. You take on a job. Your job. That's a covenant. Because their people are depending on you. To be there. If you're not there, that stops the. Exactly. And so then you become a part of sabotage. 
And so they got a system as to what they say. Listen, if you stop this flow too often, you got to go. You got to go. Well, listen, let me tell y'all a secret. A secret that's not known, it don't seem like. The house of God got a flow. The house of God has a flow. Yeah. Don't you dare have an assignment in the house of God and don't have no regard or no respect to it. Don't you dare deem yourself to say that you are a Christian and do not live up to the standards of it because you shut down the flow. You are being counted on for something. And when you are not in position, oh, get out of here, y'all. I have to catch myself because I start getting ugly. I can't stand that. That really bothers me. It's just, it's, I understand what the scripture means by when it says uh, a righteous indignation, when you really become angry about something, it literally aggravates me because it is to shut down or stifle what God is doing. And I, I, I don't like that. You know, I like for God to be able to be who he is and do what it is that he do. And, but there has to be a level of consciousness that comes to us. We've got to become more aware, more consciously aware of what we are doing. I think that it is because we were not aware of it. I don't think that none of us should be beat up for it or anything. We were just not consciously aware of it, point blank, period. Nobody required that we be aware of it. But you know the thing about it is, is with me, I require it. I require it. I require it. I require that the people that are of this house really be of this house. Because if you're not, what's the need for you? What's the need for you? You know, what? what's the purpose? It's stuff that's got to be done. It's not just here to be here. When you look at what all God has done, when God can take a minimum of a few people and do the massive things that he's done through us. Huh? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you. When God can take just a few people and do the massive things that he's done through us and not to mention the things that he's going to do. When God can do that, then, yeah, that's why I want him respected. Yeah, that's why I want this house respected. Yeah, that's why I want the positions respected. Yeah, that's why I get up in your grill and ain't scared to because I want it respected. It's supposed to be respected. Everything about our lives is hinged on this. And we played a part of sabotage. In our own house. So now, let's deal with the self-sabotage. We have self-sabotaged our own house. We haven't made sure that the house was plentiful. When have you witnessed to somebody to encourage them about the house? Hmm? When? When have you talked to somebody to get them in the house? Self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. Become a hindrance of the own flow. We doing that. We're doing that. Just make decisions. I just ain't going to go. How you going to say you ain't just ain't going to go? You ha- and have no regard or no respect to even send a message to say, you know what I'm saying, I got such and such going on, not going to be in position today. Because everybody holds a certain position. Nobody is just here to be here. So then make the decision that I'm not going to go but don't have no respect to send a text or to call or to say anything, but think that that's fine. Do you see how we self-sabotage in our own house? Hmm. Do you see how? 
So do you see how?